Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with an update as to what's going on with the forecast across the area for right now. We are seeing, again, the possibility of some more showers and thunderstorms into the forecast as we head into this weekend. But we're also seeing, again, less chances of anything involving severe weather, so definitely some good news on that. You know, if you're going to take pictures, you can at least come on the show and explain what you're doing. Get get over here. No, get over. No, no, no. Get over here. Mary Beth Conley, ladies and gentlemen, behind the scenes most of the time, but surreptitiously taking pictures from over there. So, you know, as long as can she's I, here, might as well bring her on show. But I want to show him why. It's because you're... He has polar pops holding up his tripod. That's very, that's very Austin. I lost the alligator clip stand thingy that was up there. So I have the 72 like ounce drink thing holding up the camera. So, you know, that's... Hey, can I show him a picture? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's, it's yeah, very, sure. uh, it's, well, wait a minute. We're, we're on Periscope and Twitter here and here on Facebook go. up there. So, you know, you get to see a little bit more so about there, there right there. See the polar Cameras pop right there. You want to zoom in right there and then up there on the camera. Uh, so it's just, uh, you, get, you get the general idea. Follow her on Instagram. You'll probably see it on there. No, because I'm horrible on social media. So I have an Instagram and a Twitter, but I don't ever use them. That's okay. Is Facebook. It? You'll see the picture. There you go. See. Way to go. Thank you very much. Mary Beth Conley, ladies and gentlemen. Starting things off again for Friday, we have again little, if anything, in the way of me. Major problems starting off for right now. Looking at some fairly quiet conditions out there at this time, but again, a little bit on the cooler side as we go into the course of the rest of the day today. So if you have any plans for outdoors, today looks pretty good, but unfortunately, this is where we see again the end of the nicer weather coming up as we go into the course of the next couple of days. So if you have any plans today and early tomorrow is going to be your best bet as we get into the course of the rest of the forecast. So as of right now, again, what we're seeing is just the possibility of a a lot of nice conditions out there. This is just a little bit cooler than normal for this time of the year. So we do have, again, the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms just not necessarily coming up for today. So good news on that. But again, if you have any outdoor plans for the weekend, this is where things may start getting a little bit more dicey. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. In the meantime, again, fairly pleasant out across much of the area. So we do have, again, some pretty quiet conditions for right now. But we will see, again, the possibility of more problems coming up as we get into the weekend, but more on that coming up here in just a little while. Ole Miss from the track and field facility, a few joggers and strollers out and about for this morning and not seeing again any major problems out there with visibility. Stay tuned because if you are in and around the area close to Ole Miss, we're going to be showing you a little bit more about what it looks like for tonight as there will be an astronomical open house not too far away from here at Kennan Observatory. So stay tuned for more on that coming up here in just a little bit. Delays, Memphis International not showing anything in the way of major problems, seeing again current conditions out there looking pretty good. A little breezy at times, east to southeast winds at about 16 miles an hour, so you kind of see the camera wobbling by just a little bit. If you're just joining us, please drop your location and your weather reports, if you have them, into the comments section. We'd love to see more about where you're located. Just city and state will be fine. You don't have to give us your full mailing address, but thank you for those of you who are uh, giving that out uh, earlier. Don't need to have that taking place. In and around the Mid-South, again, we've got numbers back in the mid to upper 40s to the lower to mid 50s across much of the area, and continuing again to see some good travel conditions out there for the time being. So not looking at any problems out there, according to the FAA. More on the website at fly.faa.gov if you'd like to see a little bit more going on there. Downtown Memphis from our tower cam looking across the Mississippi River toward West Memphis in Arkansas and showing good travel conditions by road, rail, and river across much of the area. So not seeing a big problem here for right now either. And travel around Poplar and Ridgeway for the time being looking pretty quiet at this point in time. Thank you very much. Marilyn Cox, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, for tuning on through. Dustin Brumfield from Smithville, Mississippi. Sunny and somewhat cool. Thank you very much. Tammy Wilbanks, welcome to the show from Walnut. Jennifer Lesh, walk welcome to the show as well. Donnie Ward, thank you very much. Nice of you to tune on through for that. And Dustin Brumfield, welcome to the show. Thanks for tuning in to watch uh, me and Mary Beth on there for just a minute or two at the beginning of the show. Poplar and Ridgeway, decently heavy traffic for late on Friday morning, but otherwise not doing too bad across the mid south where it comes to visibility for a time being that works pretty good there i kind of like this is that where is that clamped on there or is that just oh tripod 
Okay, cool. This is Michael Gates helping out with a little bit of some uh, technical right. problems right there. So stopping on by for a second. We got everybody here this morning. That's cool. Storm Tracker 3S radar. Little if anything to show you for right now. Again, very quiet, very dry, and should remain that way throughout the course of the rest of the day today. So if you have any plans for outdoors, today looks pretty good. Tomorrow, not quite so much. We'll talk more about that coming up here uh, in just a little while. Currently seeing again our next storm system way out to the west of us into around the area around the Great Basin and close to around areas around I-70. It doesn't look like much right now, and in truth, it's not. But over the next couple of days, we will be seeing again the potential. Let me get some satellite on here, and you can see a little bit more about what's going on. It's up over the Rockies right now, and the Rockies, again, force the storm systems up into the atmosphere. But as it gets down into the Plain States, a little bit closer to us into this area, the storms start to spread out by just a little bit. They get a lot more room to maneuver, and that gives the storms a lot more potential for stronger weather, which is what we may be looking for coming up in the next couple of days. But as of right now, decently dry, not that much between here and there. And looking back off to the west, again, we don't really have much of anything else outside of just some scattered light showers and some snow showers over the high plains and back into the Rockies at this time. So looking decently quiet out across much of the area. Tawan Rory 2, welcome to the show on Periscope and S. Cool Anog 7. Hope I'm saying that right. No pronunciations on Periscope. I'm not too sure exactly how to say stuff like that. But welcome to the show, and thanks to Joe for everybody for joining us for early this morning. Temperatures on WeatherNet 3, we're back into the mid to upper 50s to the lower 60s already, showing up at U of M Earth Sciences. And if you'd like to see more of this information on your computer system, all you have to do is go right here to wrhg.com slash weather to find out more details as to what's happening. All right, running the numbers into about the next 48 hours, we do have, again, the possibility of some very dry weather today, looking good past the time you pick the kids up from school, and also looking pretty good as we head into rush hour home and dinner time tonight. Dry but cool into early tomorrow morning. Clear skies at first, but then the cloud cover starts to arrive as we go toward tomorrow morning into around late tomorrow morning, early tomorrow afternoon. More clouds starting to overspread the area uh, at this point in time. Uh, Maya Fowler, can I turn the sound up? No, I'm at maximum right now, so sorry. You're going to have to throw some tinfoil around the speakers at this point. Don't think I can uh, turn much of anything up at this point, but sorry about that. Rain chances begin to move in Saturday night. Most of Saturday looks okay, but we could see again the potential for some showers and some thunderstorms as we go into very early Sunday morning and throughout the rest of the day looking like a fairly soggy Sunday coming up with those showers and thunderstorms sticking around the Mid-South into the later portion of Sunday evening evening as well. Mid to upper 60s today, plenty of sunshine. Not seeing again anything in the way of rain problems today. Great day for outdoor work or heading outdoors for a jog or a stroll or anything else going on, so looking pretty good for right now. But once again, we are going to be seeing some chances of rain late tomorrow night. Most of Saturday looks okay, but tomorrow evening, that's when the possibility of rain arrives sticking around through most of the day. A little cooler on Sunday as well. Temperatures back into the mid-60s or so, so a little bit cooler conditions coming up there. Non Ridwig 8, welcome to the show on Periscope. Thanks for joining us. Very much on the mild side. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s for highs mid to upper 50s to lower 60s for low temperatures. So I think we've kind of turned the corner a little bit where it comes to anything involving the frost potential across the Mid-South. Not seeing any more in the way of frost out there over the next several days. So looking very quiet, very calm, and decently mild. Chances of showers remain into Tuesday and Wednesday. And then another chance of showers coming up very minor chance as we go to about next Sunday, but again, that's still about 10 days away, so these chances of showers are more of a suggestion than anything else, so we'll be watching to see if we actually wind up with too much of anything there. Now, whether where the troops are, if you have friends, loved ones, relatives serving in the United States military, a little salute to all of you on the home front and to everybody else checking out more information about what's going on with the weather. Stay tuned. We'll have more on that coming up in just a little bit. 57 degrees, plenty of sunshine at Millington, Tennessee at Naval Support Activity. So very nice way to end the week and start into the weekend. A little warmer, a little bit more humid around Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. Southeast winds about 13, very nice breeze off of portions of the Caribbean and getting again some sunny conditions out there very warm a little bit closer to around the Persian Gulf 80s and 90s just past sunset in and around the Persian Gulf area thunderstorms around Riyadh don't get a chance to see those too often around the area there dust storms are more prevalent at this time of the year 
Temperatures in the 80s and 90s around Baghdad, cloudy skies around Baghdad and Mosul, 90s around Najaf and back down toward Basra with clear skies there. Into Afghanistan, 40s, 50s, and 60s with partly to mostly cloudy skies out across much of Afghanistan for right now. And back into the Korean Peninsula, temperatures once again a bit on the brisk side, but not bad, 50s and 60s going into very early Saturday morning. If you'd like to see this weather on your computer system, all you have to do is dial up the World Meteorological organization. That's at public.wmo.int if you'd like to see a little bit more about what's going on there. Tonight, if you live around Oxford, Mississippi, you have the chance to learn a little bit more about astronomy. The Kennan Observatory will be holding an open house tonight starting at 8 o'clock on the Ole Miss campus. It's again just south of the Grove area between there and roughly around the area of Vaught-Hemingway Stadium. So if you'd like to learn more about astronomy, 8 o'clock tonight through about 10 o'clock, get Get there early so you can take a look at Venus. That'll be very low in the western skies later on tonight. And of course, we'll be taking a look at other things like the moon and other planets that'll be visible out there. Venus will be out there for tonight. Uh, Jupiter doesn't rise until very early in the morning. So they'll find a lot of other things to take a look at through the telescopes out there. phy.oldmiss.edu. And you can find the links from there to find out more about the open house. And we'll be posting more about this at wreg.com if you'd like to know a little bit more about that. Check out my four throughout the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And of course, Todd Demers should be back bright and early on Monday morning if you'd like to know more about what's going on there. Stay tuned for more details on the forecast. I'll have an update in just about an hour on News Channel 3 at noon. And of course, Tim Simpson and Jim Jaggers will have more on your forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3, starting at first at 4 and going all the way through News Channel 3 at 10. Questions, concerns, ideas, complaints, if you absolutely have to. All you have to do is drop me a line at austin.onic at wreg.com. My phone's about ready to run out of power, so I think I better go ahead and wrap this up for now. So join us for more throughout the course of the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3 on air and online.